Hey guys, it's Amanda, and in this Tilt in the Light video, we're gonna hope that this video is not blurry. And my hair looks good and everything. And check out this Disney World shirt. I know, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, Finn actually got this for me, and I don't know, I love it. He knows I love sweaters. But, uh, today's video, I decided I would be reading fan fiction. I'm gonna be reading King Creepers fan fiction, because I always said I was gonna make this video, and I never got around to it, so like, sorry. <laughs> Um, but I'm finally making this video, so let's get started. The first fan fiction that I'm going to be reading is going to be a proposal, and it's going to be my boyfriend Finn Whitman proposing to me. Okay, I want to get to the actual proposing part. Finn's hand landed on his front pocket. He felt the ring. Oh, size five and a half. I don't know my ring size, but. I don't think that's it. Uh, he smiled and his face reddened, reddened. Adrenaline pumped through him, but not like before, a basketball game as a kid or one of the many OT battles in the parks. Ooh, this was different. He was about to propose to his best friend. That is so cute. Okay. The love of his life. He just hoped that she would say yes. Will I say yes? Will I not? The suspense is so triggering! Uh, wait. Uh, he made his way upstairs and to what was once his parents' room, but he had become, but had become his and Amanda's, and he was sitting on the bed with her lap, and she was sitting on the bed with the laptop in her lap. Her back against the, the headboard, she wore one of his t-shirts and smiled. Okay, that's actually really accurate. I do like wearing his t-shirts. He hates it, but I do like wearing his t-shirts. This is not one of his. This is the one he got me, actually because I kept wearing his t-shirts. I'm sorry, but they're like really comfortable. And he has like a bunch of Disney shirts and they're so cute and I love them. But anyway, um, okay. And smiled, hey princess, he said, trying to sound calm. In reality, he was terrified. He wanted everything to go right. He kissed her on the forehead. Hi, she said, her attention fully on, of course, Once Upon a Time. I love Once Upon a Time. That is a great show. That is one of my favorite shows. I love it so much, and I've been watching it since the beginning of the season, so, like, <laughs> uh, comment down below who your favorite Once Upon a Time character is, if you have one. Uh, he, he had no idea why she liked that show. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if Finn likes that show. I've never asked him if he likes that show, but he might not. I don't know. So, if you guys want to read the rest of that story, because I don't have time to read the entire thing, unfortunately, because I want to read a couple different stories, um, then you guys can go to Wattpad. It's called The Proposal. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Finn and Amanda. Um, if you guys have Wattpad stories that you'd like me to read, if, like, this video ends up getting, like, a lot of views or whatever, then, um, just, like, comment down below what your username is and I'll read one of your stories. Kingdom Keepers, the next generation. That sounds interesting. Let's read it. Annabelle Whitman sat on her bed staring at her phone. I'm going to guess that that's me and Finn's kid. And if you guys want to know who I would actually want my kid's name to be because I'm Amanda, so of course I'm going to know what I want my kid's name to be, it would be Lyric. I really, really want a kid named Lyric. Lyric Whitman just sounds really cute. So, if you guys want to do a story, could you, like, read me? Because I'm a son named Lyric. I don't know. I really, I would love to read that story, and I would definitely read it in one of my videos, just depending on, like, how popular this video gets. <laughs> uh, she was bored out of her mind. What, a, what is a girl to do? It's like a hundred degrees on summer vacation, she thought. She had read every book she owned at least 10 times, she owned at least 10 times, and she never was a fan of video games. See, me and Finn, we love video games. We will sit and play video games all the time. I am such a tomboy, so like, video games are kind of my thing. Um, we just love video games. Uh, when Disney Quest was around, we would go to Disney Quest all the time, except on that roller coaster. The roller coaster thing... Me and Finn will not do it. I am terrified of roller coasters. He's terrified of roller coasters, and especially the whole thing with the OTKs. Never again. Never again. Annabelle heard a soft knock on the door and looked up. Her younger brother, Mickey, came in. Oh my god, that is so cute! We have a son named Mickey! I love that! That is so cute! Hey, the 12-year-old boy with brown hair and sky blue eyes said, 
What's up, Annabelle replied. I'm so bored, Mickey practically shout shouted. Annabelle twirled her dark brown hair as she studied her brother with her blue eyes. Tell me about it. Kids, lunch, they heard their mother, Amanda Whitman, call. Amanda Whitman is, like, such a cute name. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I know I'm Amanda Lockhart, but, like, Amanda Whitman someday, question mark? Coming, the siblings cried in unison. They ran down the stairs. Annabelle looked around and saw mac and cheese sitting on the table, because I'm a good mom. I make you mac and cheese. Yeet. <laughs> Mickey looked up from eating when he heard his father talking on the phone. Father, I wonder who that can be, my love, my sweet, the boy I made to, boyfriend, girlfriend tags. Oh, if you guys have any videos, ideas for me and Finn to do, comment down below if you, you want me and Finn to do a video together. Because we have a lot of stuff planned for future videos. Um, not with me and Finn, but like future videos in general. Something about a Kimmy Fever movie. I'm so excited about that, film, filming that. But, um, yeah, so, yeah. On to the next one. That one was cute. I really liked that. Kingdom Keepers with Amanda. My name is Finn Whitman and this is a story. Another Monday afternoon, rain falling, nothing to do. I just got out of my last class history. I'm about to leave when one of my friends, it literally says parentheses, friends, Amanda shows up. Oh boy, do I like her. She has the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen and her personality is wonderful. <laughs> and she's hot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I mean, it is hot in Florida, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hey, she says. Sup, I said. Stupid, stupid. I tell myself, act cool. What you doing later? She asked. Nothing. Boring day, of course, I reply. And all of a sudden, I have an urge to kiss her. Whoa! Okay, I mean, like, take it down if you're not just like, then women, chill. But if you guys do know what our first kiss was, it kind of went that way. I mean, he would just, like gonna kiss you and I'm like I'm like I'll stop you I mean we have been friends for a while now so we have small talks on the way out the door and I tell her Amanda I love you whoa <laughs> she stops cold and looks at me with a bright smile and says me too yeah I love myself too <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not that sassy I I'm not that sassy I'm not Charlene I'm kidding Charlene, Charlene I love you I'm so sorry uh, I start blushing and giggling a bit, and she starts laughing. I offer her, I offer her for a biker, I think they meant bike ride home, since she is adopted. So she, she hops on and takes my hand, uh, takes my hand and puts it in hers. It's a silent ride, but I enjoyed it. When we arrived, she hopped off, and then she started to leave. I grabbed her hand and pulled her into me. I took her face and put her lips, put my lips to hers. Her uh, she has soft lips and she takes my hand and puts it on her back and glides it Kay! Uh, we hold the kiss for a while and I pull back and she's smiling. She's biting her lip and is looking at my lips. She grabs me and kisses me again and she jumps up and wraps her legs around my waist. I wish that Finn was that talented. <laughs> he la the, f the first time he tried to pick me up, we both fell and it hurt. A lot. <laughs> First terrain, she pulls back and runs inside and blows me a kiss on the way in. Boy, what a day. <sighs> I don't know how to feel, but I feel very violated right now. Like, I don't know what to do. But, like, okay. Uh, how about we read one more Kingdom Keeper story? I'm sorry that I'm not reading, like, these... I'm sorry that I'm not reading like the full story, but I just don't have time to, and this is not going to be like a super super long video, but I just wanted to get out a nice video for you guys because I know my video quality has been pretty <laughs> lately, so like, I wanted to make up for it by making like a kind of nice video. I got like these lights in the background, and I'm praying to God this video is going to be in focus. Amanda, I woke up at 9 9.50am. 9 I got out of bed and my hair looked like a mess made in hell. That is so true. My hair looks so bad in the morning. Like, you don't, you don't want to see it. You just don't. And sometimes, like, when I'm a DHI, my, like, bed head comes with me. So, like, I'm just walking around Disney looking like a zombie, looking like I haven't showered in a few days. Like, it's, it's not a cute look. 
and I, and I know the boys have taken pictures of it, so like, if you want to see pictures of me with some crazy bedhead hair in, like, wherever, just hanging out, ask them. They'll probably have one, but anyway. I tamed it. There's no taming it. As soon as I found a white tee with some shorts, I decided to get dressed. I usually can't figure out what to wear, so I just, like, steal my boyfriend's shirts. Sorry. White tee, shorts, and then a tied around, uh plaid shirt. If you guys have been on here since the beginning of the channel, you guys probably noticed that plaid is my thing. Plaid will always be my thing. Um, they never really talk about it in the books, but plaid is my thing. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got an email from Finn saying that he wanted to meet at the park. I quickly replied, I am so excited since Finn does not know about my crush on him. I thought I should wake up Jess, but I remembered that she gets really cranky in the morning, so I left a note. That is true, and I also get cranky too. Uh, one time, it was me and Finn's seventh month anniversary, I believe it was, and I was sleeping in my bed. He came into my room. He had pancakes and stuff. It's like the first time that Miss Nash actually just let him into the house. Um, he brought me pancakes and stuff, and I woke up, hit the plate on the ground, and went back to sleep. Finn, I'm so sorry. I love you, but I was so tired. Uh... I'm at the park. I see Finn. I was walking over and he sees me. When he looked at me, I tried really hard not to blush. That is very true. I walk over and as soon as I am about, uh, I walk over and as soon as I am about five to seven feet away from him, a dog ran up over to us and knocked us over. <laughs> I landed right on top of him. As soon as I remembered what happened, I realized my lips crashed right into his lips. My heart flutters with excitement. We both re both released from the kiss at the same time. I notice that I am a deep cherry red and I look up to see the same color on his face. He stutters. S sorry. As soon as I got the confidence to look at him, I see him blushing really, really hard. No problem. Really, Amanda. No problem. I have a major crush on this boy and all I say is no problem. That is so cute. I think that is my favorite one, and I think that marks the end of this video. Uh, question of the day, what was your favorite story that I read today? Hope you guys enjoy this new setup. If you do, comment down below, uh, like this video, subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, Cuber fans.